You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and today I'm going to play Slide Quest, the video game board game from Blue Orange. What does that mean, video game board game? We will see. Now, thanks to Blue Orange for sending this to me to check out on video so that I can show it to you today. This is for ages seven and up, one to four players. It says there are 20 levels. Hmm, what's this all about? Now take a look at the box. Nice little artwork panels on all the sides. The top is similar to the one side. And then here is the back. Here's where we will learn more about the game. Slide Quest. Okay, here we go. Slide Quest turned a video game concept into a board game where dexterity and cooperation are keys to success. Okay, I'm kind of getting an idea here. It says, The kingdom is in total chaos! Work together to guide this brave rolling knight through 20 adventures filled with twists and traps. As challenges become more difficult, hold on to your lives to make it to the highest map and win. Players each hold on to a lever and guide the moving platform in all directions, sliding the knight to follow the right paths while avoiding obstacles. Ooh, it all makes sense now. Looks very interesting. Uh, all the contents are right here on the right side. So what I need to do is get this out of the plastic and we will check out all the game pieces. All right, so here we go. I will break the seal with you on video today. There are times I just do this off camera, but I thought, ooh, just love new game game boxes. Look how nicely it's uh, printed there and it's raised in spots. Slide Quest, the video game board. Hmm. Okay, oh, there's the instructions. So I will review that. Game modes, how to play. Nicely packaged in here with these sleeves. They're in a, like these paper bands and you've got this really cool looking tray. Looks like Swiss cheese, big holes all around the tray. All right, so can I get these out while saving the bands? I think I can. I will try. Okay, there we go. Why am I doing that? I don't know, because I'll repack it the way I found it. Like all of my games, I try to put them back in the original way. Okay, so here are the game boards. Look at that. Very neat. I will show those in more detail after I get everything out of the box. Okay, so everything's really like a heavy duty. This is heavy duty cardboard. You've got these spinny wheels here. Let you keep track of lies. Okay, don't press so hard. Okay, see that? Here's the four levers. Levers or lever levers? What do you say? Levers or levers? Here's the knight. And he's very heavy. You know why? Because he's got one of those uh, metal, almost like a big ball bearing in him. There is a game called Sorry Sliders that uses the same kind of marble. Older game, by the way. Okay, here's all the little, I don't know, maybe they're tokens? I'm not sure. I don't know, I like taking apart game, uh, taking games like this out of the box and saying, hmm, what does everything do? What is obvious to you? That's cool. All these are like, these are wood. So little wood pieces, there's a heart. Okay, that all goes back in there. And then you have little bridges. Now these are plastic. Little fence pieces and what appear to be little boulders. Okay, I think that's it. If I left something in there, I'll get it later. Let's get this out of here. Let's get this. This and this. Okay. Let us see. Let us learn. Set up. Take the cardboard container out of the box. Okay, I did that. Put the bottom of the box in the center of the... That I did not do. Okay. So let's look at these, and then I will do all that. I just want to show you the different boards here. Ooh, look at this one. That look cool. They're one-sided. They're very bright lime green on the other side. That's number two. So is this obviously number one? So I have them still in order. Number two. Okay, so let's flip these around. Number three. Now I'm just going to do them like that so you can see where the holes are. Number four. 
number five. So there's one, two, three, four, five holes on that. And it, it looks like each one, so here you put a boulder, here you put a boulder, here you put a fence and a fence, okay? That's kind of what I've seen. There's tricky little areas here, I think, that you got to get through. Here's a heart, so maybe that helps with something. Ooh, look at that one. These are really neat. So this was number, there should be nine, yes, nine. Looks like there's pitfalls. 10. Now interesting, this says 10 here, but it looks like there's an 11 here. Looks like there's a 10 here, isn't there? So we'll see what that all means. This one says 12 on this side, 11 on that side. Mm -hmm. Okay, a few more here. Nice little pit in the middle. So they're, you know, a little bit heavier than a little than a paper stock. So, oh, this one's red on the back. Okay, so from, hey, why'd they switch colors on me? Oh, okay, so there's this color on the back. Hmm. So they're different colors, too. This one's black on the back. Okay. Number 17. Number 18. Looks like it's going to be really hard. Here's 19. And here is 20. Ooh, look at that. All right, so let me figure this out now that you've seen all those. And I'm going to come back and I am going to set it all up. All right, so that's the inside of the box. How cool is that? Now there's these little notches where you're going to put the yellow pieces. It looks like they just fit right in there. See, so you're going to be using those. Now with one player, one player controls all four. Now there's different options here. With four players, each player must use one lever. With three players, two players must use one lever and one player must use two levers. With two players, each player must use two levers. Okay, so there's the game modes here and the object. So let's read the object. Help the knight get to the end of each map. All while avoiding traps and obstacles. A path of light will guide him. If you make it to the end of the final map of your game mode with at least one life remaining, you win the game. So remember now, we have these boulders. We have arches. We have small barrier, large barrier. Sticks of dynamite. That's what those red things were. The guard, which is this guy here. Or that's the villain. The guard is probably these. It's hard to tell. Uh, but they're green and this shows... Black. I didn't see anything in black. And then uh, choose a difficulty level from three options given and place the heart marker on the corresponding square of the life counter. So the heart marker on the corresponding square. So this is going to be traveling along this here. Okay, we learned that. And then uh, let's see, game modes. Mini quest. To win the game, players must help the knight cross the five maps that make up one world, arriving safe and sound at the end. There are four kinds of worlds, or four kinds of world. The coast, maps with the green back. The mountain, maps with the blue back. The castle grounds, maps with the red back. And the castle, maps with the brown back, numbered 16 through 20. The difficulty level increases from one world to the next. A grand quest. To win the game, players must help the knight to save the universe and cross all 20 maps. If the game is interrupted, it can be saved. It can be saved the kingdom. Hmm. See, saving your game. All right, how to play. And then let's see. Where does it say saving your... Oh, saving your game. If players want to pause their game, they can save their progression and come back to the place they stop later. For this, they simply have to select the map reached and the lives remaining on the game saver. Oh, this is the game saver. Okay, so that is that. We won't need that. Okay, so let's see. Lonely Knight. Saving the world on your own is possible. You must, you just have to prove your dexterity and operate the four levers all by yourself. Ooh, that's what we're going to do. Types of missions. In your quest to set the kingdom free, there will be six different types of goal to carry out according to the map. Certain men have several courses of action. Simple paths. Follow the path of light without falling into traps. If the knight moves out of the path of light, he must return to the spot where he left it. Pass with dynamites. 
Follow the path of light without falling into traps and without knocking over dynamites. The guards. Push the guards into the traps. The numbered guard. Push the guards into their corresponding numbered traps. Guard number one. In hole one. The villain. Get rid of the guards, numbered or not. Then push the villain into the trap of the color. Explosive end. Two maps require you to use dynamite and a special way. Dynamite icon on the back of these two maps. Okay, so this one here, 10, and map number 20. Choosing lives. Players can choose the level of difficulty to start of the game by placing the heart marker on the corresponding level. Easy. Green background. Players start with five lives. Place the heart marker on the number five. They can have a maximum of eight lives. Normal. Blue background. Players start with four lives. Place the heart marker on the number four. They can have a maximum of six lives. Difficult. Red background. Players start with three lives. Place the heart marker on the number three. They can have a maximum of four lives. For every life that is won or lost, players move the heart marker along the counter accordingly, losing lives. A life is lost when the knight falls in a trap, knocks over a stick of dynamite, or drops it into a trap, pushes a guard or the villain into the wrong trap, pushes a villain into the right trap before getting rid of all the guards, tips over, or tips over, or if a guard or the villain falls in a hole without being pushed by the knight, a life is lost. Whew, there's a lot going on here. Winning lives. For certain maps of life, it can be won if the knight managed to reach a heart symbol. Okay. End of game. Well, there's a lot going on. So let's move this all out of the way. Let's get this here. Let's put this here. Let's set this in. Okay, so here we go. So you have to kind of move around and control everything. All right. So which gate? A single goes here. And then a boulder here. Okay, I don't see any dynamites or any other. Okay, so it looks like one, he goes around here and ends two. That's what I'm guessing. Did it even tell you where to start? Okay, place the board with all, okay. Place the first map of the chosen world over the traps board. Each map has a number back. Set up the game components, indicate in the map, and place the knight on the board which corresponds to the number on the card. So it is number one. So that's where I'm putting him. Number one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's just see how he moves. Okay. I'm not sure how to set this. This is going to be really hard. But cool. I just gotta get used to what's going on here and figuring out. Oh, very interesting. Okay, I have to say, one person is going to be a challenge. Okay, so if he goes off the line, now I would say that's off the line, right? Okay, so what does it say about the line? Follow the path of light without falling the trap. The light moves out of the path of light. He must return to the spot where he left it. Okay. So it's not very clear. I'm going to have to set this up a little bit differently. Let me do that. Let me set up my camera a little higher. I'm just trying to figure out. So now there are options, like if you want to do a timed one, you could. Oh, he's going to hit the boulder. I'm going to say that was close. Let me redo that. Let me come right back. I'm going to try this one again, see if I can get a better feel of the game. I'm going to raise the camera up, I think, and then uh, give it another shot. All right, so here we go. Let me move this back here, and uh, let's just see. All right, so I'm going to take a little more time here, uh, moving around so I can get this here. Now, the line, the light line, is very skinny, so to stay on it, I'm guessing just a piece of it needs to be touching. Oh, it's still touching. It's 
still touching. Yeah, it almost seems like if you do that, it slowly moves across. Okay, this should be this far lever here. And this one, depending on which way he goes. Ooh, that bumper helped there. Ooh, he's still on. Oh, fell off just slightly. So let's get him back on. Let's go here. Slide by. Ooh, he just goes right near the hole. Ah, he is safe. Okay, challenging, I will say, yes, very challenging. Uh, it looks like to get game pieces out though, you're gonna have to, you know, pretty much take up the game board when they fall in. Uh, let's go a few in here. Okay, so this one, well, let's try it. Looks really difficult. Looks like you put these guys out and they are numbered, so three, Two, one, and four. Okay, so it looks like boulder here. I'll have to read up on that. And then what goes here, here, and here? Let me turn it so I can kind of get a better visual. Is this um, a doohickey like this? I don't know. Hmm. That's a boulder. That's a boulder. I'm not sure what goes in those. Not dynamite. Hmm. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. Does this fit here? That doesn't fit there. That doesn't fit there. That fits there. But now you're blocking your path. Alright. I'm already confused on that one. Okay, let's see here how to play. Yada 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 yada. Let's see. Oh, did I grab one of the? Did I grab ten? It says push the guards into the traps. Now the traps are numbered, so I've got to get number one into number one. But what are these holes? Oh, bridges. I mean. Uh, these thingies. Okay, so I have to follow the light. And I think I'm on number nine. So I have to take this one, which is number one, and knock it into this hole. So I'm gonna drag him around and move him there. Now, do you do that without falling out of the light? That's gotta be hard. You almost have to go out of the light to make this work. Okay, I'm off the light. Yeah, this is this one's tough. Because depending on which way these are turned, like this number two has to go over here. So when you get the guards, you must have to go off the light. There's just no way. Mm, let's see. Do you see it here? Okay, follow the path of light without falling into the traps without knocking over dynamites the guards. Push the guards in the traps. Push the guards in their corresponding number traps. Okay. I'm gonna move this guy this way. Then this way. And then push them in. Yeah, the only way to get this guy is to go past the light. Whoa, 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 don't fall. Ah, oh, okay, so I lose a life there and have to start over. I'm going to choose a different one here. I'm struggling with that one. I could see it being pretty fun though. 
Oh, that was number 10. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you're going to have to pull this up every time. Okay, let's pick something else here. Let's pick something a little easier. How about this one? There's dynamite. Okay. Okay, this here. Piece of dynamite here. So I can't knock the dynamite over. Dynamite. Okay, so he is here. So now with dynamite on the board. Uh, pass with dynamite. Follow the path of light without falling into traps and without knocking over dynamite. It doesn't say dynamite can't not move, so it might have to... I think it's harder than we all thought. Look at that, he just goes right next to the hole. He's so close. You have to really think. Oh, the needle through the gate. Ooh, he's still on the line. Off the line now. I'm gonna do a little more research after the video on the light, the light line, like if he, falls off the line. It didn't never said you had to go like back to the beginning. It just said put him back on the line. Does that mean he just rolls back on the line or you can pick him up? Like if I ended up here and ended up here, would I put him back where he was? Okay, here we go. Piece of dynamite. Ooh, don't. Ah. Oh. Okay, that one's pretty cool. Let me do one more. Now normally, if you're playing the game correctly, you'd lose a life. I'm not. I'm just kind of having fun. Experimenting with the game. Now this one has a heart. What does it say? If you reach the heart... Something about the heart. Remember, if you reach the heart, you automatically end right there or something. boulder and a boulder and the heart now what does it say about the heart okay I gotta read this again sorry I know I read it but now it's facing me the guards the number guard the villain explosive and losing lives end of game the last map the night okay I'll be right back I'm gonna find about the heart. Okay, so some uh, questions here I have while playing this. It does say right here, for certain maps a life can be won if the knight manages to reach a heart symbol. I see a heart symbol there, but he's gonna have to go off the light line to get to the heart symbol. So is that just part of gameplay where you can just kind of, you know, aimlessly go through your... I don't know. Okay. So here you have to go off the the line to get past that dynamite, right? Ooh, let's do this. Okay, that wasn't too bad. All right. Uh, very interesting game. I could see it being a lot of fun 
with two people. Butch actually might have been able to play this one. Put his little paw on here, right? But he's not here. So I thought I would take a try at the game. It's been a while since I've done a game all by myself like this. And uh, I'm going to say it's a pretty cool game. It's called Slide Quest. Pretty fun. Some of those are pretty challenging. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm not going to say pretty anymore, but I want to say thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you learn about it. There's all the rules. So if I did a mistake there, just correct me. And then here's the other side. So if anybody does like to read it, they can or scan that. Will that QR code work if you scan it? I don't know. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'll put a link in the description uh, with more information for the game and Blue Orange. And thanks for supporting the channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up!